Hi everybody, this is Matt Harper, your roving reporter. We are in Maricopa County, Arizona, checking out their connected vehicle technology, which will connect emergency vehicles, buses, cell phones, and infrastructure, keeping everybody safe in those uh, busy intersections during an emergency. Hi, I'm joined by Larry Head, the Dean of Engineering at the University of Arizona here in Maricopa County for the uh, demonstration of the connected vehicles, bus, and technology. Larry, can you kind of present the technology and uh, just kind of a, uh, an overview of the project itself? Yeah, so the idea of connected vehicles is to use wireless communication to allow vehicles to talk to each other and to the infrastructure. And then through these communications, we can improve safety, efficiency, and the environment. So from a public work public works perspective, why is this important to bring up here? Yeah, so, you know, public works are charged with operating the transportation systems. So anything that the, the agencies can do to improve safety, reduce crashes, save lives, improve efficiency, save time, is a benefit to, to the, the citizens that they serve. How does this connected vehicle affect Maricopa County's Department of Transportation? It provides a for safety as well as efficiency. Um, when you start looking at the bus transportation and the connected vehicle technology, that can allow that bus to come through an intersection um, to trigger that signal so that they are able to get through that quicker. What kind of impact can this have on public works? So on public works, the, um, the impact on public works and, and on first responders is really where this research started. We, in Arizona, there's a crash every five minutes, and every three days that crash involves either a fire department vehicle or an ambulance. And so what we are trying to do here in researching and, and ultimately deploying is that technology that allows that signal to send information to that first responder so that they know if another first responder is going through that intersection and then it prioritizes it and allows them that opportunity for a safe um, response. So oftentimes public works uh, field employees are first responders to uh, accidents or uh, any kind of uh, disaster emergency. So this technology can help keep those workers safe? Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we have a project that we have, we did the concept of operations, we completed the design, and we're going into the implementation stage. And uh, the, pro the project is focused on road zones on Maricopa County 85. And one of the objectives of the project is to provide the alerts to the road users and make them aware first that there are people working there, this is the work zone. So try to slow down, try to stay out of the workers. So this is definitely uh, uh, reduce uh, that kind of uh, crashes or save, save uh, the, the public uh, uh, sector work zones uh, employees. In addition to that, uh, we have these incident responders. Every tow truck, I think that person dies almost like a week. So this is another good application of that. So like, like you will see here, we have equipped our incident response vehicles. So these uh, incident response vehicles, tow truck vehicles, they will have the ability of uh, sending a message from, from their vehicles, hey, I'm here, be careful, slow down. So, so these warnings will hopefully help reduce the crashes for the incident responders, for the people who work uh, on construction projects. Can it be impacted by extreme weather, or uh, here you're going to have uh, maybe a haboob come through, in the mid you're going to have tornadoes, severe thunderstorms, anything like that? Is it susceptible to things like that? So our experience has been that it's very robust technology in terms of, of the weather. Uh, we've had haboobs, we've had thunderstorms, lightning. We lost a couple of radios to lightning because they get struck by lightning, that, you know. But then you just replace them with another radio. So, so it's a pretty robust technology. I'm joined by Ken Wilson from Columbus, Ohio, and he had a chance to ride the demonstration on the bus here in Maricopa County. Uh, Ken, what do you think of the uh, demonstration that you just experienced? I was, it was very impressive uh, to see um, how uh, smart transportation systems uh, can allow for public transit to be more attractive um, for individuals by being efficient and being connected with the traffic signals 
yet there's a emphasis on safety and that is clear around schools and areas where there's a lot of traffic. Right now we just received a school zone alert. So up here is Boulder Creek High School and that alert that we got says there's a school up here. We went behind a tree or something. It'll come back. So th this is uh, the radio that goes up on the infrastructure. Go okay. oh, there, we'll show you there. And, uh, and and then this is the radio that goes in the vehicle. It's called onboard unit. So these are the different manufacturers for roadside units. So it's improving the driving experience by the community. It's improving safety. Uh, what aspects still need to be reviewed at this point? Well, the technology has developed over the, about the past 10 or 12 years and, and it's maturing quite nicely. Uh, we just need to get more experience like we have here in Anthem with deployment and operating of the system, uh, using it for long periods of time and beginning to spread. You're seeing it all across the country. This technology is being adopted. This is Matt Harper with APWA wrapping up here in Maricopa County, Arizona. We just watched the demonstration for the connected vehicle technology keeping everyone safe in work zones, school zones, emergency zones. So if you have any ideas or uh, great technology for us to come out and see, let us know.